right, I'm going to say it. Do we really need Comic-Con anymore? Because there's no announcements this year. And the only good thing about this year's Comic-Con is getting the 52-year-old men out of their mum's basements and doing some gay cosplay. Now, what else is Comic-Con good for this year? Nothing! Actor strike, writer strike, you can't meet your favourite actor. Like, you, you, you can't do anything at Comic-Con this year apart from buy comics. But who reads anymore? Society's messed up these days. I think they did the writers and actors strike just to give Martin Scorsese, who's, come on, he's basically on his deathbed now, Leia. I think they did it for him to have a break. I mean, he's, come on. Like, Jesus, man, you make 10 hours a year long news. Anyway, back to what I was saying. This year, events are going to suck. Like, we're getting a PS6 in, like, 2028, according to Twitter. It's going to be flipping fun. Who even needs to go to Comic-Con anyway, right? We all do. <laughs> right? I spent all my life savings just to go to Comic-Con. Oh, what? You saved all that money? Yeah. Oh, well, Hollywood doesn't care. Lovely. Yeah. <laughs> Hell, I was going to go to Comic-Con. But, you know, say because there's nothing flipping near this year. Eh, still might go. I think it's going to be fine meeting your favourite celebrities there. I was joking. Let's face it, the only celebrities you know and recognise is Chris Pratt from, I don't know, Luigi. So my point across is, I I wanted to make this a really long video, you know, something you just put on at night whilst you sleep, you know. But uh, who needs that? The point I'm trying to make is, we don't really need Comic-Con anymore. Studios can now just, yeah, so they can make their own flipping announcements as a studio. Not an event where fat sweaty nerds are.